This is Take 5 with Bentley, Nevada. In the studio again today, James McDuffie, Senior Staff Software Architect for Bentley, Nevada. And James is very focused on cybersecurity. That's been kind of the central theme of our discussions over the last few episodes. And we're going to continue on that topic. James, there were a couple of things you said last time that I wanted to follow up on. You mentioned this, you know, the data diodes and all the security that customers place inside their IT and OT networks. And you talked about pushing System 1 data out through diodes to a cloud environment. Yep. Are we talking there about database replication or in that instance, you've got like a System 1 server within this secure mm -hmm. environment where the plant people can get to it. That's right. And then are you literally replicating to a second system one server in the cloud? Somewhere? That's exactly what replication does. So replication is is not a one-to-one -one either. So you can have multiple system ones down at different networks and different plants. And then through data diodes, we can replicate those databases up into a business network. So you know, it, it's, it gets a little bit uh, confusing when you start looking at some of the network topologies that our customers have, mm -hmm. but some of them mm -hmm. have like six or seven or eight different layers of networking because, you know, they, they have a right to be really concerned about their security. And so we have the ability of down at your, whether it's on your plant network or just the network above your process data, because there might be multiple networks down there. That's where system one typically historically has sat because mm -hmm. it's right next to the mm -hmm. hardware. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you have fast network connections, especially with all the waveform data and everything else that you're collecting. And so what replication allows us to do is you can take that full set of data from a system one database and replicate that up into a higher level network through potentially multiple layers of that difficult network topology mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then give access to all your machinery diagnostics engineers that are, you know, remote working or on site. So they can at least, uh, you know, have a direct access to what the data is showing. Now there's obviously a little bit of delay when you're talking about that level right, of replication, right. but it's still pretty fast. So you're talking about a couple minutes at most in terms of the delay of what happens on site versus what you see in a replicated yeah. database. Yeah. And you, you kind of preempted my next question, which is the latency issues yeah. and, and even a couple of minutes as opposed to getting in a car and driving to the plant. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. It's a huge issue. Again, you know, if you think about system one is down in the layer where it's really people inside the plant in a highly secure environment. Mm -hmm. But once you get into the outside world, you want to get to that data, letting them get to that system one server down inside the plant can be very problematic from a security standpoint. So essentially what this replication does is it takes everything that's inside that secure system one and it replicates it out to the cloud. And that, right. that, that cloud based instance, I would imagine this may not be the right world, but it, <laughs> it's almost sacrificial. So if somebody compromises that one, they never get to the one that's down in that secure Absolutely. Uh, layer. That's right. Now, and you mentioned, you know, sometimes, and, and I think that's pretty common, you get into big enterprises and even into big uh, sites, there'll be multiple instances of system one, multiple mm -hmm. servers. Can all those replicate into one big, because I heard you say there's not a one-to-one -one relationship. That's right. So you, you can have, I don't remember what the number is off the top of my head. It keeps getting bigger because, you know, we keep getting larger customers that want to start doing more and more of this, but it's, it's, it's many to one. So you can have a single instance of system one up in the cloud and, or well, up on a server that's mm -hmm. available in the cloud. Mm -hmm. Obviously mm -hmm. our servers are, are, are Windows installs and Windows clients. So there's a Windows server sitting up there, but all these different sub subsystem ones that are on these private networks, you can get 10, 15 of them all replicated up into a single data. I don't remember what the number is. Don't quote me on that. I'd okay. have to go look okay. at the spreadsheet. But again, it's many to one. That's right. Yeah. Not one to one. I know a lot of people are aware of these things, but equal number probably are not of, sure. uh, of some of these technologies. And I know, for instance, for myself, when I first started to learn about these things, it's like pizza, pizza, you know, <laughs> but that's kind of what we're talking about here. And one pizza everybody can get to and the other pizza only people in that secure environment can get that's to, right. but the pizzas are identical. Mm -hmm. So. Well, listen, with that, we're, we're nowhere close to being done with all these topics pertaining to both cybersecurity and Orbit 60. So we're going to continue this conversation, James, and uh, have you back real quickly. You've been listening to Take 5 with Bentley, Nevada, the Baker Hughes business. 